I say it all the time, I feel like humans are very resilient animals, you know, because we, I think life can be challenging, challenging on us all, um, and you just kind of, you know, you get back up because you don't really have a, another choice, you know. Push it down, it comes out sideways. Push it down, it comes out sideways. Bitter roads turn into highway. You know, music was kind of an escape. Uh, I grew up in Jackson, Mississippi. My mother, I think, was 15, and my father was like 17 or 18, and so they, you know, they were just ill-equipped to be parents and so uh, my little brother drowned uh, and I watched that. So that was kind of my introduction to the world. I have days when it's just no way above the water. Keep it together while I fall apart. I have moments when I act just like my father. The record that kind of changed everything with me was a, was a record called Killing Uncle Buzzy. And it's more about the act of trying to kill. You know, my addiction, I kind of look at it like, you know, I got him locked in the room next door, but he's in there working out, you know, just waiting on me to open the door. And, and uh, from, a, um, from a medical perspective, the, 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 uh, the counselors, and the medical profession seem to believe that uh, uh, addiction is progressive. In other words, you stop drinking today and you don't drink for 10 years, your addiction is acting as if you've still been going. So if you pick up 10 years later, it's exactly where you left off. So I was nine months sober, which was awesome. And then that record started growing legs and getting on famous people's buses. And then they started becoming fans and started uh, recording the songs or, or wanting to write with me or both. So I started getting phone calls, will you come and play? And I'm like, so you want me to come and play in a bar singing songs about me trying to get sober? This doesn't make sense at all. Now, I don't even worry about what Jake or Kenny Chesney or Tim McGraw is going to put on their next record. I love them, love everything they're doing, but I just can't work like that. I write songs for me, and hopefully they like it enough to, you know, put it on one of their records, but that's kind of the way that I work today. I will tell you that, that uh, Eric Church told me personally, he said, the minute you start doing that, you're off the bus. The whole reason you're on this bus riding with me is because you're being you, and I want you. Push it down, it comes back. 